Okay, so let me first out start by saying I apologize for the clickbaity title and thumbnail, but I do have some genuine concern about something I discovered uh, with my 3D printer and hope it can get appropriate attention, maybe some comments from professionals. A little background, I've been 3D printing for a number of years and I love this hobby and I'm not trying to disparage the hobby or the community around it. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a scientist or an engineer, I'm not giving medical advice in this video, I'm just presenting what I've found and I'm hoping people with a little bit more knowledge can hopefully make my fears go away. Anyway, so let's begin. A few days ago I ordered this UV flashlight for another purpose, to help me clean up an accident left by my kitty. Whoops. After getting the flashlight I played around a bit with it in my home at night and I discovered something a little bit alarming to me. Now, some 3D printer filaments fluoresce under UV light, I've known this for a long time, but never really explored it. It seems orange and green filaments fluoresce the most, and white does as well. Well, anything white will fluoresce under a UV light. Most other colors, especially dark colors like black or brown, don't fluoresce at all. Here is my 3D printer, a standard open style 3D printer with no enclosure. The general advice is if you print in PLA plastic, you don't need an enclosure. But I'm starting to think otherwise. You can see that there is quite a bit of filament dust around it that the UV light reveals. Completely normal, I think. Looking down in there, you can see all the orange dust. I think the dust is created when the drive gear grinds away at the filament during retracts, and mine really doesn't seem to grind that much, but it does happen sometimes. I also want to point out I really don't print that often, maybe a few times a week. Going down to the floor, you can also see quite a bit of plastic remnants, which I expect because this is my main work area down in my basement around my 3D printer. Here's a package scale next to my printer and you can see how this filament dust only shows up under the UV light. I noticed the filament dust is everywhere, all along the whole floor in my basement, not just near the printer. Some of the white specks are probably regular dust and debris, but the orange ones are definitely my orange filament. The important thing to understand is, for every little orange speck of filament dust you see, there's probably a hundred other filament specks and other colors that do not fluoresce under UV light. Here on my carpet you can really see how the filament dust is so small it's not visible to the naked eye until the UV light hits it. And yeah, this carpet looks nasty, but keep in mind it was just vacuumed last week, so the vacuum clearly doesn't pick up this filament dust for whatever reason. This is my pet cat's bed, the cat that had the accident, on the other side of the house, nowhere near my 3D printer. You can also see when the UV light is turned off, the filament dust is not visible. This is my camera bag. Somehow some filament specs even got in here and I keep this bag zipped up 99% of the time unless I'm taking my camera out or putting it back in. Even more alarming, there is filament dust all over my camera itself. I really hope that it did not get into the sensor. Keep in mind, I don't really use this camera around the house, and I do not use it while I'm 3D printing. This one here kind of shocked me. It's my wife's purse, and it's full of filament dust. She usually has it zipped up as well, and doesn't keep it near my printer. She usually keeps it on another floor of the home, zipped up. This here is on a TV remote that is on top of a shelf on another floor of the home, far away from my 3D printer. The TV remote looks nasty, because I'm using a macro lens here, which really magnifies everything. And also, I never use this remote. It sits on the shelf and collects dust. But somehow, the 3D filament particles found its way to the remote. Particles can even be found on the sheets of my bed. You can see some of these plastic pieces appear to be thinner than a human hair, because they are nearly completely invisible until the UV light hits them, even with this extreme close-up macro lens. The sheets here were recently washed in the washer. Here's a close-up of some on my pillow on my bed. You can see the orange and green particles, but I'm sure there's other plastic debris here too that doesn't fluoresce under the UV light. Again, this is an extreme close-up with a macro lens. Here's another pillow on a couch that's on the opposite side of the house and on another floor from the 3D printer. Stuff is just everywhere. 
My concern with this and why I made this video is that I'm worried I am breathing in this plastic dust. What could it be doing to my lungs? Sure, the lungs can handle breathing in regular organic dust, but what about plastic dust? I don't think we've evolved as a species to filter that out yet. 3D printers are a relatively new technology for consumer use, and even back in the day, when only one company had the patent, they used them in a controlled work environment. Their printers were fully enclosed, and the workers probably wore masks. This one surprised me. It's a decorative wall trim in my dining room on the complete opposite of the house and on a higher floor. You can even find the plastic stuck to that. Again, invisible when you turn off the UV light. There's even a little plastic hair in my refrigerator. And on top of the toaster oven near the vents. I want to reiterate that you're only seeing orange because that one fluoresces the best under UV light. I'm sure there's lots more of other plastic colors we are not seeing. I was curious if any of this plastic dust has made its way outside. And sure enough, it's even all over my driveway. I print exclusively in PLA, so I don't use an enclosure, and have always been told you don't need an enclosure for PLA. But now I'm starting to think maybe all 3D printers should have an enclosure. Yeah, PLA doesn't give off toxic fumes and is biodegradable, but I doubt it biodegrades in your lungs. It's even on my patio. The big white spots are bird poop, I think. This is the back seat of my car, all over the protective cloth seat cover. I don't even sit in the back seat of my car and never have any passengers back there, but it's everywhere. In the front of the car, the leather perforated driver's seat surprisingly has a lot less than the back seat, but there is still some there. And finally, the most alarming of all, not more than 20 minutes after I took a shower, throw on some fresh clothes, I put myself under the UV light and notice that there is 3D printer filament dust all over my arms. You can see there's orange, green, and I'm guessing the other one is white. You know, I wash myself really well in the shower. Um, my best guess is maybe the stuff was embedded in the towel. Um, it was a fresh towel, so... <laughs> Uh, at this point, I really don't know, but I am covered in this after showering and scrubbing, so, yeah. So, the main points here are, one, this is a completely separate issue from breathing in toxic fumes from plastic, such as ABS. When you are warned about 3D printer safety, that's one of the first things, aside from fire hazards, that comes up. If you're printing an ABS, you're probably using an enclosure. But if you are printing PLA, you're probably not using an enclosure. Two, is this microscopic plastic getting into our lungs when we breathe? I'm not a doctor. I can't give medical advice. I'm not a scientist. I, I don't know if I'm breathing this in. Three, if it is getting into our lungs, is it safe? You know, uh... Personally, over the past year, um, I have been having some weird chest pain. Um, I've seen the doctor about it multiple times. Um, I had a full cardiology workup. Uh, my heart's fine. Um, I had testing done on my esophagus. Um, you know, that's fine. So it's kind of like a mystery chest pain. The doctor doesn't know what's wrong, so they diagnosed me with anxiety and said it's chest pain from anxiety. Um, several months later, you know, after being on anti-anxiety medication for a very long time, <laughs> I definitely do have a lot less anxiety, but I'm still getting the chest pain. So, you know, I, I'm kind of wondering here, like, is it possible maybe I have 3D printer dust in my lungs and that's what's causing chest pain? You know, I, I do get short of breath. Um, I do seem to have a reduced lung capacity, but I'm not coughing, I'm not wheezing, you know, I'm not coughing up blood. So, as far as the doctor's concerned, you know, my lungs are fine. So, uh, I don't know. You know, when, um, you know, the day comes that I die, you know, I hope they do an autopsy on me, slice my lungs open, and put a UV light on it and see if there is plastic inside my lungs. 
I mean, if it was a huge problem, you know, I should be coughing up blood um, or something, you know, or you would think the doctor would be able to hear a problem when they listen with the stethoscope and I breathe in and out. Um, you know, but plastic dust flying through the air in your home, you know, this is a new thing. We don't know how it, you know, what it does to the lungs. You know, it, it's possible it could be causing chest pain and not giving any other signs that can be easily tested or diagnosed. You know, this is a new thing, a new technology. You know, you, you go into the doctor for for chest pain or trouble breathing, it's the first thing that they're going to ask you is not going to be, you know, do you have a 3D printer? <laughs> Four, does anyone else have 3D filament dust all over their home and belongings, or is it just me? Am I doing something wrong? Now, if you do have an enclosure, you probably don't have this problem, but what about the rest of you that print without an enclosure and print PLA? You know, I suggest getting a black light. You know, they're like nine, ten bucks on Amazon. Uh, you know, UV flashlight and going through your house with it. Um, not going to work if you don't have any filament that fluoresces under UV light, but maybe get a roll. Print some. You know, see if you have this issue too. Um, I did do a quick Google search, and I did look around, but I can't seem to find anybody else that has commented or posted anything about this problem. Uh, so again, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I, I personally can't see how plastic dust everywhere coating everything, flying through the air, can possibly be good for my health. Um, you know, it, it, it's one thing if it was in my workspace around my 3D printer, you know, I would expect that. I don't sit next to it while it's printing, but it's clearly everywhere throughout my whole house. Uh, my home does not have forced air conditioning or heating, so it's not getting blown around the house from the 3D printer by that. I think this stuff is just so small and light it floats around. So, you know, with all that said, again, I'm not an expert. Uh, if you think any of this information I presented is wrong or I'm being paranoid, feel free to leave a comment and tell me the truth. You know, set my mind at ease. Um, yeah, I would appreciate to hear what other people have to say on this.